It is week eight of Friday football fever. It kicks off tonight and it is hard to believe there's only a few more weeks of the regular season. News for Tucson's Jenna Fink joins us live from our game of the week. Micah Mountain versus CDO. Hey Jenna. Hey, Sean. Well, Micah Mountain's varsity football team is only four years old, but it has quickly become a powerhouse and quickly developed a rivalry with Canyon Del Oro. Now, last year, the Dorados beat the Thunderbolts twice, including in the 4A state semifinals. In fact, CDO, the only team Micah Mountain lost to last year. So a little extra motivation coming into tonight's game. And to talk more about the matchup, let's go ahead and bring in Micah Mountain head coach Pat Nugent. Pat, how do you prepare your team mentally for the emotions that can come with a game like this? Well, we've been here. You know, this is uh, two times we played them last year. We lost them in the state semifinals. And, you know, we've had a bad taste in our mouth for 11 months. And it, not a lot of motivation needs to be done when you got our only loss for, you know, three years basically been to this team. So we're excited to play. And it's a home game for us. And uh, our kids are fired up to play. You entered the year with 13 returning starters. How much has that experience helped you this season? A whole lot. I mean, you know, we talk about CDO. This is the same thing CDO went through last year. They went to the state semifinal. They were senior heavy, and they won a state title. So we, we know that's what we want to do. We lost the state semifinal, but we have a great group of kids came back, and uh, we're loaded, and we're playing really good football right now, and we hope to continue tonight with a good, good CDO team. And your defense has only given up 21 total points all year. What makes that group so good? Yeah, you talk about returning starters. Our defensive line, they were all back from last year. Jimmy Leone's just a beast, our linebacker crew. You know, so we've got a lot of returners on that side of the ball, and they're just playing great football. We've given them only three passing touchdowns. No one's scored on us on the ground. And, uh, you know, they're, they're hungry to first shut out every week, and it's kind of what we expect to do. And uh, offense can hopefully put some points up and then keep that going. What's the biggest challenge of playing CDO? Well, we, we can't get caught too much emotion. we got a tough weather tonight. We're not used to something like this in southern Arizona. And, uh, you know, CDO's a championship caliber football team. They were down 17 last week, came back to win. And, you know, our kids just got to go out and play good football. If we go out and do what we've been doing for the last six weeks, hopefully we can get this done. All right, Coach, thank you so much for taking the time. I appreciate Thanks it. coming out tonight. Of course. And this game will kick off here between CDO and Micah Mountain at 7 o'clock in Vail. And just down the road, we have Cienega hosting Marana. And uh, the Tigers are still the top team in 5A and the top team in the state. They've shut out three straight opponents while scoring more than 40 points a game. Other teams like South Point Catholic and Walden Grove look to extend their win streaks too. The Lancers have won three straight road games. And tonight, they host Liberty, the reigning Open Division state champions. After starting 0-2, the Red Wolves have won four straight, and they're going for five in a row against Pueblo. We'll have highlights of those games and many more tonight on Friday Football Fever at 10 o'clock. I'll see you then. For now, that's all for sports. We'll be right back.